Hi campers, it's Jason and Mitch from Rangeland RV and we're super excited to show you the all new 2021 Geo Pro 19BH. Uh, this little trailer has a front queen bed, bunks for the kids, and uh, how much does this weigh? 3,100 pounds dry weight. 3,100 pounds and it's a smidgen over 20 feet from the front of the hitch to the back of the bumper. So you get this really compact, lightweight trailer you can pull with almost anything. And when you guys get a chance to see inside, you're gonna see how many amazing features and what an awesome floor plan it is. I'm gonna actually bore you guys a little bit with some construction. I'm gonna turn it over to Mitch after I'm done that and let him tell you about some of the fun stuff in this trailer. Um, so let's just start at the front of the trailer. And I'll tell you about some of the things that make the Rockwood Geo Pro such a great quality trailer. In our industry today, we definitely see different levels of quality. I put the Geo Pro without exception at the very top of the pack. So starting with this trailer's construction, they've taken, they build this trailer the same way they build their high-end luxury fifth wheels. This is a six-sided aluminum cage. It's all vacuum bonded, but they, instead of using that wood back called Luon, they've replaced it with a product called Asdel. It's a composite wallboard. It's lighter, it's much stronger, it has a better insulation value, but most important to our clients is it's completely water resistant. Another thing that I love that GeoPro does, like many other Forest River products, is there's no chipboard, there's no Dynaspan flooring in this. It's a 5 8 piece of tongue and groove plywood floor decking in this trailer, so if you ever do have an issue with water, or if you just want a stronger, better quality floor, you have to go into the Rockwood to do so. Um, you'll notice on this trailer, when we get into this category of trailer, it's a rarity to see this. This is a front molded fiberglass cap with a full automotive windshield in it. Now, what's the benefit of this? When you look around and you guys are shopping at trailers, you're gonna see them take a sheet of fiberglass and they're gonna wrap it around the top and they're gonna secure it at the very top of the trailer. When you're traveling down the road, it's always under a, a amount of tension there and that's where we always see trailers leak. But with the GeoPro, they've taken that molded front fiberglass cap, they've secured it over the front, there is no tension when you're rolling down the highway. And then on top of that, they put it on a torsion axle running gear system with the standard off-road package. So we get independent suspension on each wheel, we get extra ground clearance with that axle riser kit in it, and we get a rugged all-terrain tire and on a single axle trailer. I think that gives people a lot of comfort knowing that they have such a more of a durable uh, tire even because they only have the two tires. That torsion axle is also gonna keep that trailer in tow and reduce sway. Okay, we'll see also at the front of the trailer, uh, power tongue jack, two 20 pound balls. I'm not gonna get too much into that. One more thing I'm gonna talk about, uh, the technical part. Quickest recovery hot water heater in it, so you're not gonna run out of hot water. And then a solar power system that nobody that rivals everybody. So 190 watt hard mounted solar panel. It's the Go Power product line. It's some of the most respected solar in the industry. It also comes with a thousand watt inverter. And if you don't know what that is, it's simple. You wake up in the morning and you guys are dry camping and just using your batteries. You press a button and it turns your batteries and activates your wall plugs so you can plug in your coffee maker and make yourself a nice shot of espresso to get your day started. I'm gonna turn it back over to Mitch because he's gonna tell you some of the super cool stuff on this trailer. What do you love? Well guys, as you can see here, there's no lack of in this coach. One thing that I've always loved that the GeoPro has done really well is they utilize the, almost the full length of the trailer with that awning. They put that nice LED strip underneath, it lights up your campsite, makes everything look gorgeous. Um, <clears throat> another thing that's uncommon that you're not going to see in a trailer this size is that pass-through storage. A lot of people want to pass through storage, but they all want it within 20 feet and that's not very common that you're going to find that. I actually also see a lot of this small style trailer. They put the one door on this side yep. and then they just put a big cavity there without another door on exactly. the other side. So I, I mean I don't know how people get to stuff in the back part of the trailer unless you like shove your kid in yeah. there or something. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know I think it's a fantastic feature as Absolutely. well as that's really nice too. Right when you're looking at this when you're getting into this category it's not common that you're going to find things like magnetic door catches that type of stuff. Like I said there's no lack of options on this coach. Um, the other thing that I love Jay, Jason and I we have two small girls and they they have equipped on these these more ride solid steps they also this year upgraded them so that you just have to push this in and it easily slides out there's no pin inside of there like there was previous years but the main advantage of having these is that they're they're sturdy not like the traditional trailer steps that you see on a lot of comparables in the market i love it secured to the ground so you're not shaking the trailer when you're going back in 
low tread so your kids can go up and down the trailer really easily and that large entry assist grab handle um, or cocktail handle as we like to call it sometimes as well. Right. You can see standard this year you have that um, off-road package with that 15 inch off-road mud tire. Um, you're also getting tire pressure monitor system on there. Being a single axle it's nice to know if any of the wheels are getting low, right? That's an amazing system. It's so huge. It's a digital system. There's a sensor inside your tire that sits on the hub of the tire. And so it measures heat and air pressure in your tire. You get a digital display on your dashboard. So as you're traveling down the highway, if you notice if a bearing needed to be greased and was heating up, it's gonna indicate that yeah. to you. The number one cause of blowouts on any tire is uneven tire pressure. So you can always monitor what's happening in your tires. It's an incredible system. I know of two, two products that carry it and it's the GeoPro or the Rockwood line and it's a really, really expensive uh, high-end luxury fifth wheel as well. So you get a ton of amazing value in this. Mm -hmm. I love what they did with their- These are awesome, the right? This year, right? Yeah, you can do eggs, pancakes, whatever you like on there, burgers, right? Um, and it just connects right there down with your Quick Connect propane. It's gonna feed off your two 20 pound propane tanks up there in the front. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take you around back and I'm gonna show you one of the best parts about this trailer. So you're gonna notice, first thing you're gonna see is this big giant ladder. In our industry, when you see a ladder like this, it's gonna indicate that you do have a walkable roof. Um, you can get up there, check your seals for your yearly maintenance, uh, make sure that everything's good. Um, roughed in backup camera in case you did want to install one. You can, it's plug and play ready to go. Black tank flush, flush out your septic system. After you've emptied your tanks, you can clean that tank from the inside out and uh, put your trailer away nice and sanitary as well. Yeah. Now one of the main features of this floor plan is going to be pack your, your pack and play storage door. Um, I'm going to open it up for you. So I'll, I'll go uh, and open it. Can you open that for me, Jay? Now this pack and play door has uh, the bottom bunk folds up as you're gonna see here in a second when Jason opens this. There we go. This is amazing, especially if you have young kids, you wanna bring their bikes, everything to the campsite, lawn chairs, this is gonna fold up. And while you're, while, you're in, um, while, you're, while you're driving to the campsite, you can put in here the bikes, the lawn chairs, everything. It's nice and tall. So you, there's definitely a lot of room for all the additional stuff that you gotta bring with you. All right, let's take you inside the trailer here. Are we checking this thing outside? Yeah, let's go on in. Okay. Big well, changes this year, right? Huge. The first thing you're going to see right now is the new port ash color. They changed the interior. They went with this very modern looking um, color and it brightens everything up. I'm sitting on an orthopedic uh, Serta mattress yeah. this year. It's definitely, uh, if you've owned a trailer before, you know that the, the, the mattresses are not always the most comfortable, but- uh, Usually RV mattresses are stuffed with old newspapers. Yeah. But- Like, <laughs> like when, I hear, when, when I hear a person say, I love a firm mattress, I'm like, perfect. <laughs> I've got a mattress for you. Yeah. That's not the case in here though. It's nice and comfortable. Um, you're also gonna see right beside the bed, um, you do have two units. USB ports and two, um, two, plug two plug ins as well. So, if you do have a sleep machine, a lot of people nowadays um, are you using them. You can plug it in right there. That's a really good point. You got full storage up here above my head. Your entertainment center is right here. Um, you do get a Bluetooth stereo system. You do have a Wi Fi Ranger on there. So, if your campsite has um, Wi Fi, you can connect to it pull that signal and you're not going to be the guy standing around the, uh, the head office at the campsite trying to get a strong That's signal. Right. So right? I was just flashed over onto the master control panel there. It's going to give you your tank indicating levels. It's mm -hmm. going to allow you to uh, flip a switch to, um, it's going to flip a switch so you can light your hot water heater. It's mm -hmm. a gas and electric hot water heater. Mm -hmm. One of the features that we put on all our GeoPros um, at Rangeland RV because we want our campers to get to experience um, the shoulder seasons of camping in the beautiful Rocky Mountains. And so 12 volt heat pads on each tank, those yeah. 12 volt heat pads, they have thermostats built into them. So it's gonna get cold at night, it might be beautiful in the mountains during the day, start to freeze overnight. So we'll flip on those 
heat pads and uh, they'll kick on and ensure that your water doesn't freeze up overnight. Um, mm -hmm. I love that new feature. The sink, yeah. right? Huge. If you've owned a GeoPro before, you've seen uh, videos on GeoPros, you'll notice that they've definitely um, changed the size of the sink. They've gone with a bigger sink, a deeper sink. Uh, so you get a stainless steel. Uh, you can actually fit a pot in there, clean it properly. You get a three burner stove. Um, I mean, like it's just full of character. They went to a much bigger fridge this year. That little 12 volt fridge is incredible. Yeah. So. Because we do have that 190 watt solar panel um, already included as standard on this coach, you're never gonna have to worry about battery life. The 12 volt fridges is, is something that has um, is been introduced for the last few years in our industry and it has caught fire. Not actually, but <laughs> the idea about it is this. That fridge will cool three times quicker than any gas absorption Absolutely. fridge. Yeah. I know that when I start to go, when I get my trailer ready to go camping, I have to roll it up and plug it in overnight to cool my fridge down, to have it cold enough that I can put my, my food in it. This fridge, you just turn it on and you'll find, like you'll be shocked at in an hour how cold that fridge yeah. is. So uh, I'm all for it, right? With the right, with the solar system on it, with that nice big 12 volt fridge, this is a really cool off-grid camper, mm -hmm. right? So I'm gonna have Alec walk behind us and then I'm gonna take them through uh, the bathroom, yeah, show cool. them some amazing stuff. So you're gonna notice inside this, inside this bathroom. Well. I can get it. Okay, I'm getting in, I'm getting in the tub. All right. So first thing you're gonna see is you, there's, like I said, there's a lot of character inside this. They, they, they pay really close attention to detail. Uh, like you have a toothbrush holders, you have a place to set your cup. Well, it's gonna set it out into the air. It's not gonna combine here in the trailer. Uh, you do have a, what's called a fantastic fan. That thing can suck out 900 cubic square feet of hot air out of this trailer in under a minute. And then one of the amazing features, and you don't commonly see this in a lot of comparables in the market, is gonna be this Aquaview shower miser. Now you can see that L bracket there is blue. What that's gonna do is when you wanna have a shower, um, you turn the water on, that's gonna pull the water from your hot water tank and bypass it right back into it until the water heats up. When that water heats up, that L bracket's gonna turn white. You turn the, um, the bypass valve back on and it's only hot water that's coming out of there and it's only that water that's gonna go into your gray tank where in a traditional style way that they used to have it, all of that water that you're waiting for it until it gets hot is gonna go right into your gray tank. So it's definitely gonna make sure that you're utilizing water efficiently. All right, I'll take you back to the front. Let's head back on inside. Well, all right, folks. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I strongly encourage you to go to rangelandrv.com. You can view our inventory online. We are Alberta's uh, largest forest server dealer and one of Western Canada's largest forest server deal dealer. If uh, you guys want to learn more about GeoPros, we're going to have all of the floor plans, uh, virtual tours of them all. So just click on our YouTube channel. It's Rangeland RV on YouTube. Visit us at rangelandrv.com. Hi guys, it's Jason from Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 Rockwood Geo Pro. This is the 20 BHS. Uh, this little trailer features a front queen bed with a dinette on the slide out, uh, two bunks for the kids and a nice kitchen and full bathroom setup. Um, measures 21 feet 2 inches and weighs just under 3500 pounds dry weight so it's a great suv towable trailer it's actually one of our most popular selling trailers let's take some time let's talk about some construction let's talk about some features and uh, let's get you down here to rangeland rv to have a look at this fantastic trailer so let's walk over to the front of the trailer and start i always like to talk about construction the rockwood is a very special product in the way that they build it this trailer is a full six-sided aluminum cage it's insulated with 
block foam insulation so every void in this trailer is completely filled. You won't have any cold spots in the trailer. And then it's laminated together using a process called vacuum bonding. Now, one of the really great things that they've also done is they've replaced a wood wall backer, which we typically call Luon, with a product called Asdel. What Asdel is, is a composite wall board. The composite wall board is much stronger. It's a lot lighter with better insulation values, but most importantly, what our customers love, it's water resistant. Another feature on this trailer that you're going to see that really makes it stand out from its competition is a full molded front fiberglass cap with its automotive windshield. Not only great, but the real benefit to this is when you wrap a sheet of Lou or when you wrap a, sh a sheet of fiberglass around the front of a trailer, you're going to have a lot of tension at the top of the trailer where it's secured. When we do a molded front fiberglass cap, that cap fits snug over the front of the trailer. And as you're traveling down the road, there's no tension trying to pull it away from that seal, which is always a very common area where we see trailers leak. This is going to really help avoid having that happen. You'll see at the front of the trailer, we also have a power tongue jack and two 20 pound propane bottles, space for two six volt batteries. Now, what's great about having that space for two six volt batteries is the Rockwood GeoPros this year comes standard with a 190 watt hard mounted monocrystalline solar panel. Last year and years previous, they used a 100 watt flex panel that over time can deteriorate. It's just not the same level of quality, nor does it give you the same amount of charging power. If you guys are really into off-grid camping, they've also still given you the solar on the side quick connect solar plug. The idea is that even with your almost 200 watts of solar on the roof, you can now plug in another portable solar panel and you can add extra charging power to your battery bank. The idea is that you can charge up your batteries and all that storage capacity during the day. So in the evening, when it's time to go to bed, if you need to be running furnaces, fridges, things like that, you have plenty of battery storage available for that. One other feature that they've added to the solar package, because it's an incredible package, is a thousand watt power inverter. So if you don't know what an inverter is, it's simply like this. You press a button and your wall plugs come alive, uh, converting your DC battery power into AC. So if you really love your fresh uh, cup of coffee in the morning, you don't want to be doing it over the campfire, you can plug in your coffee maker, make a nice pot of coffee to get your day started. Let's walk around and look at some other great features. Standard this year, which is another feature that we had such a huge demand for, is uh, the, <coughs> the Rockwood's off-road package. So this off-road package is gonna feature a three inch axle riser, so it lifts the trailer to give you extra ground clearance. They then put it on a 15 inch wheel with an all-terrain tire, so you get a more rugged tire, you get extra ground clearance, and because it sits on a torsion axle, you also get independent suspension on each one of those wheels. You'll see as well that we have the frameless bonded windows. They look great, but they also protect that inner seal. So normally on a regular RV window, your seal is exposed to the UV rays, to all the different elements. In the case of this trailer, it's hidden behind this window, so it won't deteriorate over time. It's going to keep that window sealed better. Uh, they've also changed this year uh, to a gas griddle versus the barbecue. Uh, people are loving this. So your griddle now, you can do some, uh, it's a flat top, it's a cast iron flat top. Plugs into a barbecue quick connect below the trailer. Now you can do your bacon and eggs in the morning. You can do burgers on the flat top, which a lot of people think is better than on a barbecue. And it even comes with a handy spatula and something to open your pops with. One other feature I love about Rockwoods, when you look at any Rockwood trailer, you're gonna see that they utilize the largest awning that they can possibly fit on their trailer. And if the trailer's too big for one awning, they put two on it. So you get, they what they do is they maximize your outdoor living space because when we're out camping, we wanna make sure that we're spending as much time as we can outside. This gives you an opportunity to set up a beautiful outdoor campsite. This awning is also has the Solera easy pitch option on it where you pull a handle down, it tilts your awning. So if it's raining, water will shut off to the side of the awning and not pool in the middle of it, damaging your awning. Let's walk around to the back and I'll show you a couple extra features. We have a black tank flush to clean out your septic system when you've emptied your tanks. We also have a ladder on the trailer. Another great thing, when you see a ladder on a trailer, it does imply that it does have a walkable roof and all Rockwood products have fully walkable roofs so you can get up, you can expect, inspect your roof seals, you can wipe that solar panel off when it gets dusty and you can 
do your overall roof maintenance very easily without having to pull a ladder out of the garage. Really quick, and one of the features that's really popular on this trailer, and a really good visual. Compare this bunk mattress to any other bunk mattress that you're gonna see. It's literally twice as thick as your standard bunk mattress. Kids get ripped off when it comes to the bunk bed mattresses without question. So this is the teddy bear mattress. It's ultra plush and extra thick. It's gonna be a great night's sleep for your kids. This is also what we call pack and place storage. So this bunk will lift up and out of the way so when you're in transit, you can have the kids' bikes in there, you can have your barbecue, things that you're gonna remove uh, from the trailer when you're at your campsite and bring the bunk back down to set up your kids' sleeping area. You'll see under there, there's also a ladder, which many trailers don't offer in their bunk model trailers. Let's head on inside and have a look at this trailer, some of the features inside. As we walk in, you notice right away the Murad drop down entry steps. They're super solid. I have a daughter myself and I know that when she was younger, we'd be camping and those under mounted rickety steps were always a, a issue of concern with me and her. So having these Murad solid steps, they secure to the ground, they're really steady. The lower tread is low to the ground, easy to step up onto and you have a large entry assist handle uh, at your front door as well. All right, let's do uh, a little two-parter in here. We're gonna show you the front of the trailer and then we'll switch uh, positions with Al and we'll show you the back side of the trailer. So right away, you can see the all new decor package for GeoPro. It looks fantastic. It's kind of like a, a Beechwood style look. It's nice and light, so it takes a small trailer, brightens it up and gives you that impression that it's got a lot of space. You'll also see that front windshield in here also does add some extra light and create some extra space in here. We have UV roller shades. These roller shades are really nice versus, you know, a Venetian style blind. They're a slow rolling shade, so they won't go ripping up and, and around. But the nice thing about them is when these blinds are down, they literally black out the trailer in, entirely. So you can keep your trailer cool during the day. If it's a hot sunny day, you guys are down at the water, you come back to your trailer and it won't take long to flip on your air conditioner and cool the trailer back down. You'll see you have an entertainment uh, center here with Bluetooth, inside outside speakers. We have our uh, full uh, trailer control panel, which is gonna show your tank monitoring system. We also have, uh, on all of our GeoPro trailers, we add the 12 volt heat pad system. The idea is, is if you wanna camp into shoulder seasons, you guys like to ski, snowboard, hike in the fall, or start camping early in the spring, these 12 volt heat pads on each of the tanks are thermostatically controlled. You'll flip a switch, the heat pad will come on, and it'll ensure that your water doesn't freeze up. But it'll also ensure that it stops when it gets too warm. So on a thermostat, you flip a switch, you set it, you forget it, you don't worry too much about it, okay? We have a dinette on a slide out here that converts into a secondary sleeping area or another sleeping area. So this trailer can comfortably sleep six people. It's also a nice wide dinette for everybody to sit at. One of the features that I think everybody who's owned a GeoPro prior to this year wish they had was the big new sink. GeoPro always had a really small sink but now they've went to a much larger stainless steel uh, sink basin and it's certainly more usable for washing dishes. This trailer also comes equipped with air conditioning. You'll see a nice undermounted three burner stove with a tempered glass stove cover. The benefit of this is that in a small trailer with limited amount of counter space, we can flip this down we can use it as a food prep area or we can put our tea towel out there as we're washing dishes as a drying area. We have a light and a fan here. And then what you're seeing here is the GoPower solar system. This is the charge regulator or the charge controller. This is gonna give you an indication of where your battery levels are at and what kind of charge you're getting from the sun. So even on an overcast day, you can still be charging your batteries. This indicator will show you at what rate you're charging them at. New this year as well, and I love it. GeoPro always had a much smaller fridge. They went to a large 12 volt fridge, um, which we think is unbelievable. We've ran a whole bunch of tests on this fridge and it works so efficiently. It also cools down almost three times quicker than what we call a gas absorption fridge. So the idea is this, when you guys are getting ready to go camping, you don't have to wait half a day to have your fridge cold enough to start putting things into. You can plug in, you can cool your fridge quickly and transfer your food into it and hit the road for a great weekend of camping.
Finally, let's show you into the bathroom here. I'm just going to switch places with Al. I'm going to let you guys look in the bathroom. So as Al walks in, you're going to see a um, great bathroom with a foot flush toilet. A uh, nice medicine cabinet up top for storage of your bathroom items. Your high performance, fantastic fan, which will move 900 cubic feet of air per minute through this trailer and run off of 12 volts if you guys like to dry camp. But one of the features in this trailer and in all Rockwood trailers that the industry just hasn't quite caught up on is a, is a feature called shower miser. So you're looking at that blue tube and a little valve system. When you're waiting for your water to heat up, instead of it draining into your gray water tank and being wasted, what's happening is it's cycling back through your hot water heater in a loop. And now when you feel that your water's warm and it will be indicated by that blue tube turning white or gray, now you know your water's warm, you'll flip a valve over and now you'll start to actually use that very valuable water, especially if you guys like to dry cap. We're going to be showing you lots of trailers over the next few days here. Uh, Geo Pro, we're going to show you the 19BH as well. If you guys are interested in seeing what Rockwood Geo Pros have to offer, please stay tuned. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Tune in or check us out at rangelandrv.com. Thank you for watching and happy camping. Okay, and we are back. I'm Mitch from Rangeland RV and I'm standing here with Ty the RV guy. So we are standing in front of the all new 2021 Wolf Pup 16 BHS. It's one of the hottest selling floor plans in the Wolf Pup lineup. Ty, tell us a little bit about uh, some construction and, and specs on this, yeah, on this coach. Yeah, first thing that we're going to jump into with this one here is the overall length and weight. So starting from the pin to bumper, overall length is 21 and a half feet. And of course, when you look at the dry weight of this, you're looking at about 3,400 pounds. So if you've got a mid-size SUV or a large SUV or a half ton truck, you name it, you're gonna have an easy time pulling this out to the campsite. One of the biggest things that we jump into when we first start talking to someone about one of these wall pops here is the construction. So when you start comparing this out to a lot of uh, comparables in the industry, um, you're gonna start hearing things about like the, the stud construction in the floor. And what we like to tell you about is the 12 inch on center studs in behind this aluminum siding here. The big reason why we talk about that is our competitors do a 16 inch spacing or even a 24. So having that 12 inch on center, you're having more structure because this is like a house that goes through an earthquake every single weekend you use mm -hmm. it, right? So more structure, the better. The other thing that we love to talk about is the flooring in here. Yeah. You, you have what's actually called a 5 8 tongue groove plywood flooring in here. So a lot of our competitors like to use that, you know, particle board, chipboard, OSB, board. OSB. it's yeah. that glued together stuff that always starts coming apart, yeah. especially when it gets wet and you get the soft spots in your floors, it's no good. The best thing about this is they use it in your home for a reason. Yeah. It's the best there is. But let's talk a little bit about the exterior features now. Yeah, let's go over some awesome exterior features on this Wolf Pup. They have a ton of options, um, you can see. Uh, well, let's I'll take you to the front here, for example. So <clears throat> on the front here, they've used the new, um, the new tongue jack here. This is the new style. So it is a manual tongue jack, but what I love about it is not only is it easy to turn, um, you have the option to flip it over. If you're like me, I have a drill that I carry with my trailer at all times. Um, you can put the socket bit on there, hold the drill, and it'll go down just as fast. Uh, one of the benefits of that as well is that, you know, you don't have to worry about any type of power failing. And in any situation, you're good to go. You can bring it up or put it down. Um, you'll notice here that they do give you a generous amount of space here with this exterior storage underneath the bed, um, utilizing pretty much almost half or half or more of the bed space underneath. And the nice part is too, you can even <clears throat> access it from inside underneath that yeah. bed. So. Another huge feature on this year's model, I was gonna say too, is you do get the option to have that one control app that you can use with your smartphone. And with that app, you can actually control your lights, your awning, as well as your slide, uh, if your coach has a slide. So that's definitely a huge oh, upgrade, yeah. right? It really just blows cool. my mind the technology they're coming up with nowadays, especially with trailers. Yeah. Um, this year they featured the automotive uh, black glass doors. They're super sharp, they look beautiful. Everybody has just fallen in love with them. Yeah, really um, it cleans the look up like 
Yeah, really well. Uh, another thing I was going to say too is these more ride steps, they are a lot sturdier than any traditional step uh, that you're going to see on most comparables in the market or older trailers. Um, the thing that I love about these two and I've always worried is watching my daughter go down the traditional type of step. You're always kind of, you know, making sure that they're not going to fall off. That's not going to be the case with these. They're super sturdy. This year they've upgraded them so they don't utilize the pin anymore. If you're familiar with the Wolf Pup product or the More Ride Step product, they've added the push in so that you can adjust the stairs right there you don't have to pull the pin out and then stick it back in yeah and the nice part too is when you're you know ready to pack this trailer up and put everything away these steps actually just fold up right inside the door here. so yeah. it's nice because like Mitch was mentioning on those older style steps that hang underneath the trailer they start to get full of uh, rust and dirt and that yep. kind of stuff and you can't use them right so with something like this they're always protected setup time is so much easier you just release this little blue pin here give it a pull sets down into place and if you're on that uneven ground you can simply adjust those legs and it's a nice easy stable entry mm -hmm. especially when you got the big oversized grab handle yeah so they also feature the pup kitchen um, you're starting to see this in pretty much I think it's it's coming standard on almost, almost all the all four, the plans, four plans right yeah. you do have accessibility to get your pop your snacks everything if you have young kids like I do you realize that you basically become their snack slaves <laughs> and that you need to give them a, a snack every five minutes it's you can store it all right here access it easy and you're good to rock and roll absolutely I like yeah. how they even added these little ties in here so you can just have that extra little prep space on the yeah. exterior put a table yeah. on here margarita maker yeah, you name whatever it. you need yeah, yeah. Make it your own. Absolutely. So um, looking through the uh, the rest of the exterior, like Mitch was mentioning there, you got that beautiful power on, you control it right with your phone. Yep. It's got that blue LED light strip, but you'll notice too, the speakers on the outside also have the blue lighting in behind them too. So this is really, really cool. It cleans the look up of the trailer again. So when you pull into that campsite, everyone's going to be like, Ooh, what's this guy got? Right? Yeah. So, um, yeah. There's a le talk about that leash latch for a second, Ty. Yeah, the leash latch is actually a really cool addition. You know, it's something so simple, but again, it makes a big world of difference, right? You're not tying your pets up now around the, the, the stabilizing jacks of the trailer mm -hmm. or, or a tree, a bumper, tree right? you name it, right? Yeah. It's right here, so he's, you know, spots running around the campsite, right in your own campsite there, too. Absolutely. Just make sure, of course, you yeah. hook him before you leave. So. Right. It works great for children, too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, let's uh, tell us about the... Um, the yeah. tires tie yeah because the there's some really wicked cool features things. on there one of the really cool things that you'll see about this particular wolf pup is we have it fitted with the off-road package so you actually have a 15 inch off-road tire here they give you an upgraded forged rim so this looks really nice again cleaning that look up of the trailer and you'll even have this little tire pressure monitor stem here too so this is really neat because like you can see right now it's showing green which means the tire is fully up to pressure once we take this off you'll see it actually turns to red and the reason why is if this tri if this tire here falls below the, the safe limit of towing, it'll actually show you red so you know you can't pull it. Um, if the tire does need some air, you know the maximum pressure is 50 PSI, so you can quickly walk around, put some air in it. And the reason why Wolf Pup does this is the number one cause of accidents by anybody that owns an RV is they fail to check their tire pressure and they have a blowout, which can yeah. be a serious problem on a single axle trailer. Yeah. So this kind of makes it foolproof. Before you leave on your trip, you walk around, make sure all your doors are locked up and everything like that. You take a quick glance at your tires and you know you're safe to go. It's those little details in a trailer like this that make a world of difference. Now, another thing too with that off-road package it is going to give you that three inch lift. So you're going to get a bit more uh, ground clearance, yeah. right? It's going to pick up some of your plumbing that, you know, might be exposed that could potentially get caught on something. Absolutely. You're getting a little bit more uh, ground clearance. Absolutely. Let's, Let's take them around back, Ty. Yeah. So like you'll see on the back of the trailer here, guys, you'll actually have a nice bumper here that holds your spare tire for you. But this bumper actually comes away from the back of the trailer. So if you wanted to fit a bike rack onto here, um, or even like a, like a storage rack for something mm -hmm. like a big cooler or um, you know, generator, firewood, you name it, you're set to go. Mm -hmm. um, as we work our way around the corner, we run into probably one of the biggest features on this 60 oh, gauge I love it. Pup. And with the glass door too. Exactly. Wow. Right. So, what this is called right here is the pack and play storage door. So what they've done is they put a, a, a full, like a, not a full size trailer, door, but a half trailer door here. And you can simply open this up and that bottom bunk is actually going to flip up now. And you have this entire space 
wide open for storage. So mm -hmm. if you want to put bikes in here, again, like that thing that I was talking about, coolers, generators, fire, lawn you chairs, it, lawn chairs. Yep. Um, you know, you have all that extra space. Grandma? Yeah, I mean, that's of course no, works good kidding. as a mother-in-law suite. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's awesome. really, it's really a good way that they're utilizing all the space in this trailer. Mm -hmm. um, and then down there is going to be your outside shower. You get hot and cold shower, and then you do have this detachable power here. Uh, they've definitely, I mean, they've ever for for as long as I can remember they've always pretty much came like this um, yeah where you get the detachable power you're not gonna have the cord that you're, you're putting right in there so, right yeah. so it's all insulated there right and less chance of rodents coming on in um, yeah. yeah let's take them on the inside absolutely also like to talk about with these wolf pups, I'll tell you while we're walking inside here, um, is the paint on these trailers. This is a full enamel baked paint now too and it's impregnated with the material so that um, it's not as necessarily going to uh, color fade as easy and it's also a little bit more scratch resistant too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, let's go inside and I'll have a look around. So now that we're inside the uh, the Wolf Pup 16 BHS here, we'll talk a little bit about the. Let's start with the bed, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it does feature a RV queen bed right in the front. Um, so it's an east west bed. But the thing that I love about it is they give you a handle right here so that you can lift it, and you actually get ex um, you get exposure to your storage underneath. So that if you needed to grab something really quickly, it's right there. You're not going to have to go outside, open it up, and then pull it out. Uh, they do give you actual cabinet above so they're not going with the route of just using the nets with some type of shelving they do have a full enclosed uh, cabinet so that you can put all your stuff in there for you <clears throat> yeah the other nice thing too is as you work your way around from the bedroom and start looking into like the the dining room here we'll call it you still have all of that overhead cabinetry so a big problem that you'll see in this kind of category of trailer is manufacturers like to kind of shorten out on lots of little things that they should be doing. And Wolf Pup's great at doing, you know, the little bit extra. So you'll see, of course, you have these, all this overhead cabinetry doors here. And the nice thing about these cabinets too is it's all solid wood core material. So you're not yep. looking at that cheap paperboard kind of stuff. Yep. Yeah. Solid wood cabinetry. Exactly. And then even underneath these, you can lift the cushions up. You have ex uh, extra storage here. You know, this can make down into an additional sleeping space. So Realistically, you could sleep two, four, five people in this trailer very comfortably, and you're only looking at 21 and a half feet. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, looking over at the kitchen now, too, as you guys come in the trailer, um, you're going to see, again, another small detail that makes a huge difference. This countertop, for an example, this is a seamless press membrane. So a lot of times what you'll see is it's actually got a T-mold across here, and in a few years, your trailer's going to start having that start to peel, and it doesn't look as great. So... This, the nice thing with this is, of course, it's going to last the lifetime of the trailer. And, of course, underneath this sink cover, you have a massive stainless steel tub sink. So with this stainless steel tub sink, you'll usually see a lot of plastics um, in this category, which are very shallow, um, very hard to use. And, of course, you put a hot pan in there, you're going to melt mm, that plastic right absolutely. away. Absolutely. I've seen it time and time again. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Nice high-rise faucet. And then, of course, they even give you a little soap pump here, which is super nice. You know, it's just, again, a little convenient feature that makes a world of difference. And you can also use it as a um, hand sanitizer dispenser as well. Yeah. I've been seeing those come in, especially with current events this year. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah, talking a little bit more here about the, uh, the kitchen, you'll also have a vertically placed two burner cooktop. A lot of questions me and Mitch get, especially on these new Wolf Pups, is customers come in and say, hey, why is it not vertical or uh, horizontal like it used to be? And the reason why Wolf Pup changed this for you is mainly because it saves you that space. So you have more, uh, more room inside the trailer for prep space. And I mean, it's really nice too. You got a nice uh, uh, light up dial here and it's of course got a tempered glass cover on the top. So it just cleans the look up plus also gives you that more storage now there is something really cool before we actually start getting into the fridge here wolf pup has added a couple new features to their trailer up on the roof um, that helps this fridge out do you want to tell them a little bit about that um, yeah, so we, they are equipped with a juice pack. You're going to get a uh, solar panel mounted on the roof, and the wattage on that guy is? I believe it's around a 50 or 60-watt so. yeah. panel. Yeah, 50-watt panel. Um, you do get a battery disconnect. I have a lot of clients that always say to me, you know, when I go to store my trailer, I'm always having to take the negative and positive off my battery to make sure that my battery doesn't get drained. That's not going to be the case with this. You literally just turn the, the battery disconnect 
um, switch right, switch off. right yeah. off and then it's gonna kill all power going to this unit you're not gonna drain your batteries when you go to store it um, <clears throat> another thing too the big thing obviously is this 12 volt fridge um, they've brought they've um, upgraded the, the fridges now to a 12 volt fridge they're um, cooling a lot quicker yeah. a lot of people would usually um, turn their fridge on the day before they're gonna leave let all of their food sit in the fridge pretty much overnight yeah. and then they would go on their trip and leave in the morning with this guy within an hour it's just it blowed it blew my mind that yeah. it's that cold within an hour it cools down in less than half the time and the yeah. nice thing about it too is it's way bigger yeah. standard fridges in uh, these wolf hub used to be around six cubic feet, six cubic feet yeah. now what you're seeing in here is actually a full 10 and right it's now crazy. it's actually running it's actually cool in here it's really cool we've had this trailer maybe into into the into the store for i don't know what say like 20 minutes or something like that yeah. it's already starting to cool down um and then of course you have a really nice freezer up above here and that's especially very cold but to wrap up the kitchen of course you got a range hood here which is super nice for cooking inside you can vent out all that air um, and then you even have your microwave but i did really want to touch on one of the new features that they just put in these 2021s and that's the sound system so wolf pup's gone with a driven audio system in here now which is capable again for your smartphone just like it is for all of your uh, like your if you had a slide on this or your lights and that type of thing and the really nice thing about this is not only do you now have speakers inside and outside your trailer, which you had before, but they just introduced this brand new subwoofer. So you can have premium audio inside a trailer like this, which is very, very cool. Now, I'm going to let you sneak by me here and check out the bathroom, and we'll tell you about it there. So, as you work your way into the bathroom here, first thing you're going to notice, you got a beautiful foot flush toilet and then you'll even have your shower in the corner here. Nice thing about this shower is it's also gonna give you a, a little bit of a sink in there. So even in a small space like this, you technically have a three-piece bathroom. Um, and it's nice too, of course, they have a shower surround on the trailer, so you're not seeing any type of uh, water damage starting to build on the walls. Um, if you, of course, shower inside your trailer, big common issue in our industry in a trailer like this is a manufacturer doesn't put that plastic shower surround in there. so you know you do end up damaging the wallpaper and things like that right absolutely yeah. on your right hand side as you're coming out of the bathroom you're going to see the single over single bunks they do come with the teddy bear mattress so they're a lot thicker they're a lot softer for the kids to have a great night's sleep and then they do give you two usb charging ports on each one of the bunks um you know the way that we are now everybody wants to charge their devices make sure that everything is charged up so they definitely don't leave any detail out yeah right? absolutely. they think of everything even down to like the, it's got a beautiful forced air furnace in here you have a 13 and a half thousand btu air conditioner yeah like everything that you're seeing in these larger trailers they're packing down into these small wolf pups here which is great but uh yeah that pretty much wraps it up here today so thanks again for watching guys you know i'm ty the rv guy this is mitch we're both at rangeland rv Definitely come down and see us. Make sure you give us a call and ask us about the, the RV show pricing that we have right now on this Wolf Pup. And uh, thanks yeah. again for watching and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here with Rangeland RV and behind me is the all new 2021 Wolf Pup 17JG. The first thing I wanna talk about right now on this trailer is the app, is the overall length and the weight of the coach. So from pin to bumper, you're looking at a rough uh, length of 23 feet and four inches and your overall weight for your dry weight on this trailer is actually 3,800 pounds. So that makes it perfect if you have a mid-size to a large size SUV or a half ton truck when it comes to towing this coach. Now let's start off and talk about the construction behind this Wolf Pup. The reason why we like to go into construction on this particular brand is they do something much different than most of our competitors in the industry when it comes to traditional built construction. Now this is an aluminum sided trailer with a wood frame and what we do is a 12 inch on center stud in that wall and we do a 5 8 tongue groove plywood. The reason why we say this is important is because a lot of our competitors in the industry use a 16 inch spacing or even a 24 when it comes to their wall construction. So with a 12 inch on center construction, you have a lot more stable frame because you think of it this way, this trailer goes through an earthquake every single weekend you take it out. So more structure, the better. 
The other thing that we'd like to talk about is that plywood flooring like I mentioned. In the, a lot of the competitors in our industry will use what's called an OSB, particle board flooring, chipboard flooring, you name it, it's that stuff that's just simply glued together and it's, it's, it's a big problem in our industry because what you generally will start to see is a lot of sagging in your floors, soft spots developing um, because it easily absorbs water and it's just not as strong as plywood. So 5 8 tongue groove plywood is the same type of, uh, type of stuff that they use in your home and that's why we use it in the trailer here. So, starting up at the front, let's talk about some of the cool features that you'll find here. Um, right on the tongue, you actually have a spot for two batteries if you needed to, and of course a 20 pound propane tank. Now what uh, Wolf Pup does here that's pretty cool is they give you a manual crank jack, but when you flip that handle over it actually pops up a socket that you can use a power drill on and essentially turn that manual jack right into a power jack. So it's a lot easier getting it on and off of the vehicle for you. As we work our way down here, you're also going to see that you have a nice big pass through, or not, sorry, not pass through, but uh, dual access storage compartment. You can lift the bed up uh, on the inside of the trailer and completely access this storage. And they even give you a nice wide door here so you can simply put the large camp chairs or barbecues or whichever it may be inside this compartment. Now, as we move our way uh, through the trailer here, you're gonna have a really cool door. So what they've just done to all of the Wolf Pups is gone to this really nice black glass door. It simply cleans up the look of this trailer, which gives you a, a second to none kind of look compared to a lot of competitors in this traditional built category. Um, of course, they also back this with a hidden hinge uh, door frame here. So what this is gonna do is if the wind does pick up, it's actually gonna hold your door for you instead of breaking off the little plastic clips that you generally do see in our industry. Um, up above this door, you're gonna have a nice power awning with an LED light strip. And this of course is a full adjustable awning for uh, wind and rain and that type of thing too. Um, as we move our way uh, towards the uh, door here, you'll actually have a more ride step. So this is a really cool step because you can actually simply lift it up and it goes right up inside of the trailer clips into place there. So it's a lot better than what you've probably seen on a lot of older models where they have the, uh, the, the steps that are tucked away underneath the trailer. They always end up getting full of gravel and rusting out so they're very hard to use. Something like this, you can simply release the clip, set it out. It actually balances on the ground so you can adjust the legs if you're on some uneven ground and have a nice stable entry inside the trailer. Also the full size grab handle makes it even easier too. Now as we move our way towards the center here, Wolf Pup and the 17JG floor plan gives you a really cool pup kitchen. So of course you're going to have a little mini fridge on the outside here and it's got, even got a small freezer in there for some ice. And the door can uh, conveniently folds down into an extra table for you which is supported by these little strings here. Now as we move our way through you're going to see you have some outside speakers here which are also backlit with some LEDs. You have an outside TV bracket and you'll even have a couple of hookups here for that TV too. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the tires on these trailers because Wolf Pup actually does something that's really cool. Um, you'll notice on the stem of the, uh, the air fill there, it's actually got a little tire pressure gauge. Now what Wolf Pup has done here is they've turned this into a little uh, pressure gauge which will actually go red or green according to the, uh, the pressure of the tire. There's an 80 on this side here so you know exactly how to fill the tire to and what uh, PSI it needs to be at. So of course it's very simple. If it's red, don't pull it. If it's green, you're good to go. The reason why Wolf Pup has uh, integrated this into their trailer is because the number one cause of accidents by anybody that owns an RV is they simply don't check their tire pressure and they obviously have an issue going down the highway. <clears throat> now one of the biggest features that you do gain out of the 17 JG floor plan is this really cool pack and place storage area. So what they've done is they've put a half door on the side of this trailer which allows you to open up this massive bunk storage area and you can actually flip the bottom bunk right up against the wall. And what this allows you to do now is have this entire area wide open for storage if you want to put large coolers in here, um, generators, firewood, bikes, you name it, your kids. I mean, usually you want to put them in the truck, but you could put them here. And of course, it's also got easy access to close the door and lock it so nobody can get into your storage. Let's work our way to the back and you can see a couple of features here. So Wolf Pup, of course, mounts your spare tire on the back bumper here. And this bumper is able to uh, equip a bike rack if you ever needed to. And then, of course, right on the back side, you're going to have your power cord inlet here and your slide out with an outside light. 
Just underneath the trailer, you'll have your dump station here too, where you can see you'll have your black and gray handles. So everything goes to one spot so you can conveniently dump and you're not running around with your sewer hose. And to touch on something really cool with this power cord, it's actually a detachable power cord. So you're not having, you'll, you may have seen in, the, in uh, some other brands where they can run that power cord up inside the trailer. This one here isn't gonna allow for that because the problem is mice can sometimes climb up that power cord right inside your trailer. So this eliminates them from that ever happening. Now with your slide out here, you have a, what's called a four corner gear system. So it actually pulls the, tr the slide in and it pushes it out off of what's called the Schwintec system. So this makes it much more simple um, to simply obviously bring your slide in. There's not as much maintenance that you may see compared to a cable slide system, which can sometimes stretch out. Plus, if you ever have a fault with the slide, you can simply bring it in and out three times and it should auto correct itself. Let's go on the inside and talk about some of the cool features there. <clears throat> One of the very unique things that we like to talk about with this particular floor plan is actually how it was created. The reason why this trailer is called a 17JG is our sales manager here is actually named Jason Granger. He was the one that actually helped design this floor plan. So we do find this to be one of our more popular and one of our personal favorites at Rangeland. Come on inside and we'll have a look. <clears throat> So first thing that you'll notice walking inside the trailer here, there's a ton of space. And that's mainly because you'll have this big slide out here with the U-shaped dinette. Now behind me, you can see you have your queen bed. This would be kind of like your master bedroom, if you will. And up above that, there's some extra storage here too. So the one thing that we like to point out is there's actually cabinet doors on the storage. A lot of brands in this category just give you a shelf up there. Not a very usable space because things can fall out of there. So this makes it a lot more secure when you're traveling down the highway. Now with your bed here too, this also lifts up, like I mentioned before, and you can access all that storage underneath and it's very, very simple to do. And you even have a gap strut that assists that. So when you get it up nice and high, it's very simple. Now, right on my right side here, you'll see this is the U-shaped dinette in the slide out. It's the largest dinette that you can find in this category for this floor plan. So that was actually one of the main reasons why we wanted to bring this idea into, into the market. Now, we do really like to talk about the U-shaped dinettes on here because one of the key features is the drawers on the ends. This trailer is actually equipped with 40 inch dinette drawers, which stretch all the way to the back of the U-shape. So essentially you're not having to lift those cushions up every single time just to access the storage under here. And you'll see it's actually good material too. They're using a solid wood core uh, front to that drawer. It's all plywood throughout the drawer too. So it's very well put together. It's not that cheap particle board stuff we were talking about again, or even just that paper board. Now I did want to touch on the kitchen now here too. So, as you look at the Wolf Pup kitchen, one of the things that we talk about going to that fit and finish level again is the countertops in here. You see a full, what's called a pressed membrane countertop. So it's a seamless pressed membrane. It's a lot better than what you'd mainly find in here is a T-molded style countertop, which tends to come apart over the years. This is very, very nice material. It's not gonna start separating on you over the, in the early years of use of your trailer. Now, the other thing that we talk about too is just underneath this nice big cover here is your sink. And this is a tub stainless steel sink. What's very common in this category of trailer is you like is you usually see plastic and it's very shallow. So first of all, shallow, it's hard to use, but now with this, it's very deep. You can easily put a frying pan in here and if it's hot, it's not gonna melt the plastic sink because this is true stainless steel. They also give you a nice high rise faucet here so it's very easy to use the sink again and they even give you a little soap dispenser which is very convenient. Now right beside it, you'll have your uh, Greystone two burner grill, uh, cooktop I should say. And a lot of questions we do get asked with this is why did they put it vertically instead of horizontally across the countertop? And the reason why they did that is because in a smaller trailer like this, you wanna utilize space as efficiently as possible. So the nice thing with this is being that it's vertical, it's not taking up as much as your counter space. So it's a real smart way to do things inside a smaller trailer like this. And of course it's very nicely well appointed with the blue lights and it's got that nice flush mount glass tempered glass cover on top of it. So it really cleans up the look, but also makes it util uh, utilizes the space. Now, as you pan over to the right here, you'll see there's a beautiful bunk set up there here. Let me grab the door so it's out of your way. 
<clears throat> and you can see these are nice double uh, single over uh, single over single dump uh, bunks and they're actually teddy bear finished. Now, another cool feature they put in the bunks is you'll have USB ports in the top and bottom. So it's awesome because the kids nowadays like to bring out their tablets, their phones and that type of stuff too. So it really gives them their own personal little space. <clears throat> now, as we work our way towards the back, there's uh, the bathroom there, but I also did want to talk about the fridge uh, right on your right there. So with this fridge, it's actually brand new. And what uh, Wolf Pup has done here is they've actually created a 12 volt fridge to go inside this trailer where usually you would actually see a smaller six cubic foot fridge. Now you have a 10. So there's a lot more space in here. It cools down a lot faster. And being that Wolf Pup has gone with this new fridge, they've introduced a couple uh, little features to help you uh, power it because it's 12 volt. So this trailer now comes with a solar panel up on the roof. And if you're that style of camper that likes to go out into the bush and do that dry camping feel, come and see us. We'll set you up with even a bigger solar panel, um, a couple extra batteries. That way you're rigged up to go out as long as you want. Now, talking about those new features too, one of the things that we love about this new Wolf Pup is they've changed the stereo system around in here. They've actually gone to a smart uh, smartphone capable driven audio system. And now what they've done is not alone with the, uh, the smaller speakers, they've even added this beautiful subwoofer up in here so you can get that premium audio throughout the entire trailer. Now I'll let you jump into the back there and have a look at the bathroom. It's a little bit tighter in there so um, you'll see you have a beautiful foot flush toilet and even in a small bathroom like this you still get all the amenities. Foot flush toilet, full shower and they even have a small little sink in the shower for you there too so that you can simply you know brush your teeth in the morning, wash your hands once you're all finished up in there and another little thing that we like to point out is the plastic shower surround. Most trailers in this category, you won't see that kind of thing. And essentially the big problem is you're gonna get water on the walls and it starts to damage stuff, but not with this Wolf Pup. It's simply covered with that plastic shower surround because those little details do make a huge difference. That pretty much wraps it up today, guys, on this Wolf Pup 17JG. If you have any questions, don't be shy to reach out to us and ask. Of course, give us a call and uh, we'd be happy to share with you what the uh, RV show pricing is gonna be on this particular unit. Thanks again for watching. I'm our, I've, uh, Tyler RV guy, sorry about that, um, and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here, back again with another trailer for our virtual RV show this year. And behind me is the all new 2021 No Boundaries 16.6. This is one of the really cool floor plans that Nobo offers. It's probably one of the best off-road trailers that you can get into for this price point. Let's dive in and have a look. So first thing I wanna start off with is the overall length and weight of this trailer. You're looking at about 21 and a half feet from pin to bumper and you're roughly around 3,500 pounds dry weight. So if you have a mid-size or a large size SUV, heck even a big or a half ton or something like that, you're gonna have no problem taking this into any campsite you desire. Now let's talk a little bit about the construction behind this Nobo here. Some of the things you're gonna see is that a complete aluminum structure here and one of the really crucial parts that Nobo dives into when they start building their trailers is Asdell wallboard. This is really cool stuff. It's actually a lot lighter. It's moisture wicking, so it's a lot better than that old wood material that they used to use in behind the fiberglass. And of course, it's environmentally friendly too. Now, when we talk a little bit about the construction on this Nobo 2, one of the things that we love to talk about is the, is the fiberglass cap on the front here, which I'll show you. So, if you look at the front of this trailer, you'll notice it actually has this nice uh, pushed out look to it. And that's because this is a full molded fiberglass cap. And what that's gonna do for you is it helps protect the roof seal on the top there. Um, and it also, it, it, when it protects that roof seal, it keeps it from uh, forming any kind of water damage in the front side of this trailer. Um, another cool thing that you gain out of something like this is the full windshield. This is actually automotive grade uh, windshield glass too. So if you do have a rock that somehow gets up this high and 
hits the windshield and chips it, it's always repairable. Um, follow me through this way. We'll look at some of the exterior features on here and continue to talk a little bit about the construction on here. Um, for an example, on this particular side of the trailer, you'll see it's got a beautiful Schwintech slide out on this floor plan. And when I say Schwintech, this is actually a four corner gear track system. So it's really nice because it pulls that slide in and pushes it out equally on all four points. And the other thing that is really nice about this Schwintech is if it ever comes out of alignment, you can simply bring it in and out two or three times and it'll actually help auto correct itself. Now, some of the really cool features that we also talk about on this Nobo and we, we've ordered it in from the factory with is it's got an enclosed underbelly with its, which is spray foam insulated and they even put 12 volt heat pads on all of your tanks. So if you want to take this out in the early spring or late fall, you're set to do so. Um, have a look at this front storage compartment here. This is actually a really nice feature. It's a full pass through storage compartment. And like you can see, even inside here, that a nice exposed aluminum framing. So you know the trailer is built very well and very light. Um, as we work our way back, you'll have your outside hot and cold shower here. This works great if you have pets, um, or of course if the kids are maybe down at the beach or something like that and you wanna spray them off. Um, you know, it's a nice way to just kinda of keep things clean on the outside before you go in. Now, one of the things we also talk about too is the wheel wells on a no boat. This wheel well is exposed and it actually works as a step. So what you can do here is it has a 300 pound weight rating. You can actually jump right up on here and access the roof or anything that you may need to. One of the really crucial features on this particular floor plan of Nobo is they give you a pack and play storage door. This is super nice because you can actually open this door up here and what it allows you to do is lift up this bottom bunk and you can utilize all of this space inside the trailer. <clears throat> So it works great if you have uh, like bikes or coolers or things like that, um, you'll always have a place to put it. On the very back side here, there's a little attachment for a water hookup and this is actually a black tank flush system. So if you're unfamiliar with what that does, you can hook a garden hose up to this connection and it completely flushes out the sewer tank inside this trailer. So it keeps your anodes in there nice and clean so you're getting accurate readings all the time. Plus when you go to flush that toilet, you're not getting that breath of fresh air back inside your trailer. On the back side here, you'll have a ladder which you can access to your roof and Nobo gives you a 500 pound roof capacity. This is really, really cool because another feature that Nobo introduces is they give you the option of doing a adjustable roof rack. This particular trailer that we have here has that adjustable track in there and you can simply add on the roof rack attachment. Of course, you're gonna have a full bumper here with your spare tire and you'll even have a pre-wire for a backup camera and all exterior LED lighting, which is really, really nice. <clears throat> Follow me around the front side of the trailer now and we'll have a look at some of the cool exterior features on the front and then we'll jump inside and have a look through there too. A couple of things I did miss on the front side of this trailer, you'll have a 20 pound propane tank, you're gonna have a power tongue jack on here with an LED light, so it helps you hooking up in the dark and they even give you an exterior gas connect here which runs directly off of your 20 pound tank. So it's nice if you wanna bring that portable barbecue with you or even if you may see that there's a, uh, like a fire ban on, you can absolutely bring a portable fire pit with you, hook that up too. It's a very, very nice feature to have. <clears throat> Now as we work our way to the front, you'll see that other entrance to your storage door and one little feature that I like to point out because it's really cool and it makes a big difference is all of your latches for your storage doors are actually magnetically assisted. Great because over the years those little plastic ones always tend to come apart. So this is something again, a little detail that makes a world of difference. Now all your windows throughout the Nobos are all tinted and what you'll all also notice too is this new door. This is very cool. It's actually a full glass door here and it really cleans the look up of this. Um, of course, you'll have a screen door on the inside of here of two and your inside window for the door is actually ready for a shade if you wanted to add one of those on. <clears throat> Just above that, you're gonna have your full power awning here with an LED light strip. This is also an adjustable awning too. So if you wanna bring this out and maybe tilt it to one side for the rain or whichever, add more shade, you can easily do that. Now as we work our way back over here, you'll notice you'll have a nice little uh, railing here where you can attach on an outside barbecue, but they even do one more and they give you an outside high pressure spray port. This is awesome because this trailer is fitted for that real off-road style camper, so if they wanna bring bikes with them or kayaks, this is a great tool to use for cleaning down all of your attachments and toys and things like that. <clears throat> 
Now, another thing that we're going to talk about before we jump inside is the suspension system behind a Nobo, which makes it very unique. This is what we call an independent rubber ride torsion suspension. So the big benefits that you have, especially on a trailer like this, is that independence factor. If you want to take it into the back country where you have some pretty rough roads, it's going to roll just like the vehicle down that uh, unusual terrain, we'll call it. Plus, they also help reduce the vibrations from passing back inside your trailer like you may see with a leaf spring axle. Um, of course, Nobo with this particular package has the off-road kit on it, so you have that 15-inch off-road tire also. Follow me inside and we'll have a look at some of the cool features in here. So first thing you're going to notice coming inside this Nobo is with this, this slide out here on the kitchen, you have a lot of interior space for a trailer that's only 21 and a half feet. So like you'll see near the back there, you're going to have two bunk beds, you'll have your bathroom there, and up at the front you're going to have your, uh, your master bedroom, we'll call it here, with your queen size bed. One of the really cool things with Nobo too is their mattresses for the front like this. This is actually a true uh, queen size bed. So this is a 60 by 80, not your standard RV queen that you sometimes hear about. Um, underneath, you're gonna have some lit up storage too. And then of course, up above here, you're gonna have some nice lit up cabinetry. It really adds that extra look to this brand, which is really cool. Um, speaking of your cabinets too, what you'll also notice is they're all solid wood core cabinets, so it's that really nice, well put together material, not that paperboard stuff that you see falling apart over the years. Plus, they have hidden hinge construction. This one even has a little gas strut in it, so you know that you're looking at something that's a little bit of a higher fit and finish out of Nobo compared to a lot of com uh, comparables in this sizing. Now, on my right side here, you'll have your kitchen. And what Nobo does in their kitchens, you'll have this beautiful gas and electric fridge with a stainless steel front here and you'll even have a little ice chest in the top. So very well set up if you want to go out dry camping because you have the option now of running this on propane or even just plugging the trailer in to operate it. Right beside it too, you're going to have a nice two burner cooktop here and of course your sink with a beautiful stainless steel high rise faucet. Now, one of the things I like to point out too in a Nobo kitchen is the countertops. This is actually a seamless press membrane in here, so it's not that cheaper T-mold stuff that you see that comes apart over the years of use. This is gonna hold up for a test of time. Just underneath this countertop, you're also gonna have this beautiful microwave. And if correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is actually um, a convection microwave too. Because like you can see in a smaller trailer like this, without, with, if you were to have an oven in here, it would take up a tremendous amount of space. And then usually your microwave would be up here. So it's a great way to give you both options, but still utilizing as much space as possible. Now, just where you guys are sitting now, you'll have your uh, nice table area. This can actually break down into an additional bed for you. So it's very simple to do so. You just lift it off these pedestals here. This table is gonna set down into place and you can use the cushions to fill in even another sleeping area. So when you look at it all together, this trailer comfortably sleeps two, four, five people. Now, right above that also, you're gonna have some additional cabinetry here. And that pretty much wraps up your main area. Now let's have a look at these bunk beds real quick while you guys are over here. And the one nice thing that we like to point out too is both the bunk beds have a window in them and they're both opening style windows. So each kid can have a nice cross breeze in here, so keep it nice and cool. They'll both have their uh, the USB plugins inside the bunks so you don't necessarily have to pick out who's your favorite child. And it actually does have a 300 pound max car, uh, capacity out of these bunks. So if you do want to sleep an adult in here, no problem. And it's cool, they each have their own uh, little curtain that goes across also. Now I'll let you look into the bathroom there and I'll talk about some really cool features that Nobos offers. So first thing that you'll notice walking into the bathroom is you're going to have a beautiful corner shower. Now with that corner shower, they do a nice plastic surround on the shower there. So it's helping keep the water inside the shower and not damaging your uh, exterior wallpaper. But they also introduce a cool system called the shower miser. This is a beautiful system that helps you save water because it actually flows the water back through the hot water tank and circulates it while it's heating up. There's a plenty of storage in here too. You're gonna to have a foot flush toilet um, and of course a uh, nice area underneath your sink for some extra storage. And last but not least in that, in that bathroom, you're gonna have a 12 volt max air fan. 
It's a great way to help cool down this trailer. It is fitted with air conditioning, but of course, if you're that dry camper that doesn't have access to power, that 12 volt fan is really gonna help you out a lot. There's of course also a furnace in here, which runs off of a digital thermostat, and that digital thermostat, again, is gonna operate your air conditioning. Thanks again for watching, guys. You know, I really hope you like this Nobo here. If you have any questions, make sure you come down and ask us, or even give us a call ask us any questions you want. Um, ask us about our RV show pricing that's going to be on right now. And uh, thanks again for watching. I'm Ty the RV Guy and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here, and behind me is the all new 2021 RPOD 193. First thing I wanna jump into on, with you guys on this particular trailer is the overall length and weight here. So what we're looking at from about pin to bumper length here is about 23 feet. And when you start looking at the weight of this, the dry weight is roughly around that 3,800 pounds dry. And the nice thing with that is, is if you have that you know, mid-size SUV or a larger SUV or even a half ton truck, you're gonna be more than capable of pulling this into any campsite you like. So one of the big things that we love to talk to our customers about with our pod is the style of construction that you get out of the brand. So what we have here is a complete aluminum framing and block foam insulation, which is called a pinch roll product. So this is awesome because it's a solid wall throughout on, each, on both sides and even into the back. They also do that aluminum framing into the roof and into the floor, and they even add that vacuum bonding, or sorry, the pinch rolling into the flooring there with the insulation so it's a lot lighter, but it also keeps the floors warm. The other big thing that we love to talk about with our pod is the style of suspension that you have on this. This is an independent rubber ride suspension, so it completely eliminates that leaf spring suspension style that you see on a lot of older trailers. Your big benefits here is it gives you independence, so if you're going off-road or if you hit a pothole on the highway or something like that, it's going to track much better behind your vehicle. The other side of it is the rubber ride suspension in there eliminates vibrations from passing back inside your trailer, helping keep everything protected over the years of use. The one thing that you will see with this particular product too with our pod is going back to that construction. We love to talk about Asdell. This particular trailer is built with Asdell, which means that the wallboard in behind the fiberglass has been changed out from the old wood Luan material and into a composite wallboard now. And what that gives you is a lot lighter construction. It gives you moisture wicking in behind the walls, so less chance of water damage. And of course, it's environmentally friendly too, so why not use it in your trailer? Now, one thing I do want to point out too here is this is a Hood River Edition R-Pod. So one of the really cool things you get out of that is an actual little bit of a lift so you have some better ground clearance and a 15 inch off-road mud tire. Let's have a look at the, uh, some of the exterior features here. So starting up at the very front of the trailer, our pod is gonna give you a power tongue jack on this particular model. That makes it so much easier when you get to your campsite for unhooking the vehicle, and then of course when you're ready to leave, you can hook it up just as quick. And it's a simple push of a button here. You even have an outside light, so if you're trying to hook up in the dark, you can always see what you're doing. Just behind that, you're gonna have a 20 pound propane tank here, and behind the propane tank, you have enough space for a dual battery setup. Here at Rangeland, we provide you with a single battery right off the get-go, but if you do wanna to upgrade to that dual battery, just let us know. Now, speaking of batteries, there is a very cool feature that RPOD just introduced on their trailers, and that's called the battery disconnect. It's just down on the side here. This is a nice little touch because when you're done using your trailer for the weekend or something like that, you don't necessarily have to pull your batteries off of the trailer. You can hit that switch and it eliminates any kind of draw coming from those batteries. Follow, your, uh, follow me around this side here and we'll talk about some of the cool features. Now, like you can see, you have a beautiful pass-through storage compartment on the 193 here and that stretches right through to the other side. One of the little details that I do like to point out too with this storage door for an example is the magnetic uh, latches. So these are great because a lot of times over the years you'll see those little plastic ones when you put your door up it'll actually break that plastic hinge off and then you have no way of holding that door. This is a nice simple system and of course those little details make a huge difference with your trailer over the years. As we move our way along, you'll have your water connections here and of course your slide out. Now this slide out is pretty cool because this is actually a Schwinn Tech slide. Now when I say that, that means that this is a four corner gear track system which pushes and pulls the slide evenly from all four corners. A big benefit that you get out of a Schwinn Tech too is if you do have any kind of alignment issues, you can bring the slide in, in and out three times and it'll actually readjust that slide for you. Follow me back this way. 
As we're going by, you'll notice all the windows on an R-Pod are tinted. They even have the slide topper attachments here. So if you want to add something like that, just let us know here at Rangeland and we can set you up. You'll have your outside, or sorry, you'll have your um, hot water tank here. And this is a six gallon quick recovery hot water tank. It's actually the same size that you would see on most larger trailers or fifth wheels. Now, keep in mind too, this is only a 23 foot trailer. We've already seen that you have a front pass through storage compartment and now you even have an additional compartment in the back here just underneath the bunk. So as we look underneath this trailer, you'll notice something really cool too. There's actually a full enclosed underbelly on here. So it helps keep things a bit warmer and protected. Your power cord is on the back side here and it's a detachable power cord too. So you're not worried about any rodents climbing inside through a small hole. And on the very back, you'll have a ladder this is a very unique feature for this style of R-Pod um, because they, haven't un they don't necessarily put a uh, ladder on all of your floor plans. So this is a nice feature to have to get up on top, make sure your roof seals are always doing good and whatnot. Um, you'll have a pre-wire for a backup camera here too. And of course your full size 15 inch spare on the back. Um, all the lighting that you'll see on the exterior is LED so you're not worrying about burning out those incandescent bulbs all the time. And then as we work our way to the front, you'll have a full power awning with an LED light strip underneath too. So this awning is very simple, push a button and it comes out. And then just below that, you have some really nice outside speakers. And at the very bottom, your outside grill here, which has a quick connect for the propane right off of your main tank. So you're not carrying those small little bottles. One little feature that I do wanna talk about also just on my right side here, is you have a quick entry spray port where you can simply hook up um, a sprayer to this and it gives you high pressure. So if you have any toys along with you, it's nice and easy to spray those things down and put them away clean. And of course, right beside that, you'll have your black tank flush. And for those who aren't familiar with what a black tank flush is, this is a spot where you can simply plug in a fresh uh, a garden hose and completely rinse down the inside of your sewer tank. So you have those nice clean dipsticks in there, you get accurate readings, plus you're not getting that breath of fresh air when you go and flush your toilet. Now, as we look at the, uh, the new door on this R-Pod, you've seen it on a couple of different products, but now R-Pod's using it too. This is that really nice black glass door. Really cleans up the look, like I always mention on all the trailers here. And of course you have the oversized grab handle to get in there nice and easily. That pretty much wraps up the outside. Let's jump inside and have a look at some of the cool features. So first thing you'll notice when you come inside this R-Pod here, for a 23 foot trailer, there is a ton of space. And that's mainly due to the actual way this floor plan is set up and the slide out. Talking about the slide out now too, like you can see, you have a nice couch in here. This will actually break down into an additional bed if you want. You have a full movable table, so this can go inside or outside the trailer. And the cabinetry all the way around, even down to the side here, gives you a bunch of extra storage. Talking about the cabinetry too, when we open this up, you'll see it's very well appointed stuff. It's not that cheap a paperboard style material that you always see. And they even give you these nice little drawers in here, which are full ball bearing extension drawer glides. And of course you have that solid plywood in here as well. Little details to mention too, while we're looking at the slide, if you look at the windows, they actually do a nice pleated nightshade. This is great because a lot of trailers in this size category, you always see those cheap tin blinds that always get bent and broken over the years. So this is a nice little touch that our pod does. Let's jump over to the kitchen now. So looking at the kitchen here, they do a really, really nice job. Always, our pod has always done their kitchens very well. And that's mainly because you'll look at the appliances here for an example. You have a big tubless, uh, tub stainless sink here with a high rise faucet. This is great compared to a lot of competitors that like to use plastic, which can crack or melt easily. And of course, beside it, you'll have a nice two burner cooktop with a uh, tempered glass cover. So it gives you more counter space, but also really cleans the look up. Underneath here, you're gonna have your convection microwave. Big benefit of having a convection microwave in here is generally you'd see an oven, but with an oven, it takes up a ton of storage. So this gives you best of both worlds, microwave and oven. And of course they give you a range fan above that too. Now to finish off the kitchen, you'll see you have a nice big fridge here with the stainless front. This is a six cubic foot gas and electric fridge. So if you wanna take your trailer out dry camping for the weekend, not to worry, you can still operate this on propane. And of course, if you're at a campsite, you can simply plug it in, it's gonna operate just as good too. Underneath your fridge, you have a really cool new feature for the art pods, and this is your vac system here. It eliminates from you having to bring a broom with you, and of course, if you do bring a broom with you, you even have the little sweep port here, which is really, really nice. So helps keep things nice and tidy in your trailer. Just beside that, you'll have your, uh, your forced air furnace here. And above that, another spot for storage. I can't stress enough the amount of storage in a small trailer like this. Now, 
like you can see on my left side here as we work our way back you have bunk beds in this trailer so they do a nice fixed ladder in here your bunk beds are also a teddy bear mattress so they're much warmer more comfortable for whoever may be sleeping in here plus they even give you a nice light in each of them so that everybody kind of has their own little area and plugins now let's quickly look at the bathroom here before we uh, turn around and check out the bedroom as you go into the bathroom you'll notice it's a beautiful foot flush toilet there they have some extra storage in the corner, so if you want to put some towels in there and things like that, you're not, a sh uh, you're not short for space. And then of course, your massive shower here. This is an awesome feature to have, especially in a small trailer like this. They give you a big plastic surround so you're not damaging the wallpaper with water. And there's a cool shower miser in here. And if you're not familiar with what that does, it helps circulate the water through your hot water tank, allowing you to save that water and heat it quicker. It's a very, very cool feature. And of course, to top off the bathroom just above your head there is a fantastic fan. So if you're big into that dry camping, you may not have the opportunity to use your air conditioner, but not to worry, you can always cool your trailer down with that 12 volt high powered fan. Now, that pretty much wraps up the backside. Follow me up front here because there's a really, really cool feature with this 193, and that's this Murphy bed system. So like you can see here, you do have a couch, but after some little simple con <coughs> conversions, you can easily turn this into a bed. So like you see, I pulled the cushions off there. This mattress, or sorry, couch actually flips flat. And like you can see, more additional storage underneath here again. Once I have this couch flat, there's a small pin over here that I simply release. And that allows this to go flat, which we can now pull the mattress down. And now you have a queen size bed inside this small trailer. It's a very, very nice feature to have because keep in mind, we're only 23 feet and now you have a full bed here. You have a couch that can go down into a bed. You have two bunks. So there's plenty of sleeping space for the whole family inside this 193. That pretty much wraps it up here today, guys, in this R-Pod. If you have any questions, please don't be shy to give us a call or come down to the dealership and have a look for yourself. Um, once again, give us a shout. Ask us about our RV show pricing that's going on right now. And again, I'm Ty the RV Guy. Thanks for watching and happy camping. Hey guys, Ty the RV Guy here and I'm standing with Denise, our parts manager at Rangeland RV. Denise hands all, handles all the parts here at the store, but when she's not dealing with all our customers, she's out cooking us something really delicious to eat. What are we having today, Denise? So Ty, we are going to do campfire beef dip today. Um, welcome everybody to our virtual show. We thought we'd do something uh, new and different um, and just do a little bit of a cooking class. So. Um, what you're going to need for your campfire beef dip is a loaf of French bread, about 400 grams of roast beef, and some sliced cheese. You can take any cheese you want. Um, today I'm using spicy Monterey Jack and some extra old cheddar. The other thing that you're going to want to do is a little au jus at the end for dipping once you're, it's all cooked. Um, I just got some beef broth and a little bit of Worcestershire to uh, spice it up a little bit. So what you're going to do first is, uh, and I've already started, is slice your French bread into about one inch pieces, not all the way through. I'll just finish this up quickly. So and then what you're going to want to do is in every other slice this is a sandwich so you want to stuff one piece skip a one and then put stuff the every other um, slice that we put into the French bread. So first don't be shy with the meat. If you're cooking for the boys around the campfire. Now, once you put that roast beef in there, I'm gonna take one piece of the spicy Monterey and one piece of the extra old cheddar, and I'm gonna put that on either side of the roast beef. So you got two different styles of cheese. Two That's different awesome. kinds of cheeses. Um, and then we move on to the next one. So there's one sandwich for you. So into the next one, a little bit of roast beef. A 
couple pieces of cheese. And continue on. And guys, um, the purpose of um, us doing this too is so these recipes that I've picked for you today is stuff that you can pre-prep before you go out um, camping. So you can actually get all this done and um, have it all wrapped up. So the only thing you have to do when you get to the campsite is heat up your au jus and uh, throw this on your campfire or even on your barbecue. That's pretty handy. It'll save you a bunch of time then. So you're not always Huge time. Away. Yeah. You can worry about fishing or hanging out with the kids or going for a hike and then it's just an easy meal for when you get back you can uh just throw it like i said throw it on the fire absolutely you're gonna see it's gonna it's getting uh bigger and bigger we just got to get it all shoved in there I noticed you got some tin foil out here too, Denise. Is that something that we're going to be using with the sandwich? Well, uh, once we're done getting all this stuff um, wrapped up and the meat and cheese into the French bread, what we're going to do is wrap it so that it's ready to go. Like I said, either throw it on your campfire or on your barbecue, whichever. What you want to do is just toast the bread and get this cheese to melt so that, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's good to go. Toasty yes. Making me hungry. We're gonna try some in a little bit. Absolutely. All right, guys. So, as you can see, we've got a little accordion here of roast beef and cheese all put together. I'm just gonna move it on over here to the tin foil. And then what I like to do too, just a little flavor on your uh, bread, stay. I'm just gonna take a little bit of garlic butter and put a little bit on the top. So that's gonna melt into the bread with the cheese and the roast beef and um, yeah. And like I said, all of this can be done before you go camping. Just throw this in your cooler or into your, uh, into your fridge. Then what we're going to do, and I did uh, do a double um, foil so that you don't burn the bottom of the bread. We're just going to wrap that up, kind of like a little boat. And that's going to be ready to throw in your campfire. Well, that's perfect. Awesome. So. Once you have all that uh, kind of finished, where do we go next? So what I would do is, if you're gonna throw that on the campfire, I've done my pre-made au jus, like I said, with the beef broth and the Worcestershire. I just put my pan on the campfire, throw that in there to heat up for a few minutes while this is cooking, and then you'd be good to go. Perfect. You wanna try the finished product, Ty? I'd love to. All right, let's give it a whirl. We'll show you guys what it's gonna look like when we're, uh, all done. We cooked this a little bit ahead of time so that we could show everybody the finished product. So when it's all said and done, your cheese is melted, your bread is co covered in garlic butter. And we're good to go. Awesome, and what did we call this again? Liz? We're calling this the Campfire Beef Dip. That's awesome, awesome. And this is one for me here? You go ahead and try that. Great, here we go. Diving in. Mm. Mm. How do we do? Amazing. How do we do? It's awesome, it's so simple, but it's got so much flavor on that too. You can really taste that butter. In there. Mm. Is there anybody else there that would like to come and try one? Come on up and grab one. Absolutely, that smells amazing. Wow, look at that little Oh, section. it's amazing. Here we go. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. Did we just grab some dip? We just grab some dip. Oh yeah, that's right. It's probably yeah. heated up. I forgot dip on the cast iron. Just dip her in there. Yeah, go read. Oh. Nice. Oh, wow. Oh yeah. 
Terrible? Great. Easy, simple. Easy, Take simple. Yeah, you guys wouldn't like it. I'll have the rest of it. It's okay. All right, Ty's taking the rest. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks for tuning in with Cooking with Sluggy, the Rangeland RV's virtual show. Thanks to Ty and Kyle for helping me out today. Thanks, guys. Happy camping. <laughs>